friends. So today I want to talk about a very important topic, I think, and something that I noticed was hard on me um, being a new amputee, and that was seeing people that are amputees being able to go and like do things and having their life back and me not being at that point yet. So I decided to talk about being okay with not being okay and that there's like there's this perception out there that people with disabilities have to be like happy all the time and it's just not true you do not have to be happy about it all the time there are days that it's going to suck that there are going to be major struggles and i would say from being someone that's had experience with a few different kinds of disabilities now um, having someone minimize the amount of struggle that I go through every day because I have a disability, like, that hurts. That sucks. Don't be that kind of person <laughs> that just minimizes what I've been through, you know? Um, it's much more helpful when you're, like, even just willing to ask questions rather than, like, assuming something about me is also helpful. So... I had kind of a rough week, honestly. Um, and even though, like, I'm able to wear, like, the funny shirt today and laugh about it a little bit, there was points of this week where I didn't want to laugh about it, where, like, I was grumpy as heck that I don't have a left foot anymore. And I, I've gotten to a point where I'm kind of just completely done with the whole thing sometimes and I'm like oh my gosh like I just want to be able to walk without pain again like please <laughs> you know like it's been so long and it's normal and natural to have these feelings of frustration that come up when you're trying to adapt to a completely new life and there's a lot of grief and sadness and pain and trauma and all sorts of things that are all mixed up in my story because you know like unfortunately for me the reason I lost my foot is because I was serving a mission you know like I was just trying to do good things in my community um, and serve God and I got dealt a very very unfair hand of cards basically um, and I'm okay with being real about the fact that what I've been through is a lot. I'm okay with trying to be okay. You don't have to be okay with your disability every day. There are days that it's going to affect your life and that some of those effects probably are going to be negative. And I'm not trying to be like um, a downer here either. So I've been going to therapy or professional counseling for a while now, and I am definitely an advocate for people that want to get help with their mental health. I think that it is absolutely, absolutely necessary that anyone with a complex regional pain syndrome diagnosis goes and gets help for the mental aspect of it because there is no known cure for CRPS. I look at other people that are going through it and wish I could take it away because I've been through it myself. But I can't. Not by myself. I think that at some point I do want to have enough of a social media following that I can raise awareness for CRPS, but also um, perhaps even do some sort of fundraiser for CRPS research. For the people that are out there that didn't have the option I did to amputate. And there are some people that live with this condition in their entire body. Like, I just, I can't even imagine having to go through that and knowing that it would likely last for a while. I didn't plan on talking about the fact that I feel like I've been through the trenches of hell, basically. And it's interesting that CRPS and fire kind of go hand in hand because 
yeah, I mean, like, every day it felt like walking on nails, walking on fire. Horribly, horribly painful. And it is, it is very, very difficult to put into words what that dark point of my life was like. But it's not necessary for me to really do that. I think what is necessary is that I'm, like, able to accept the fact that, hey, you know what? I am not perfect. And I get mad, I get grumpy, I take things out on other people, and it just, like, and it sucks, and sometimes I get down on myself. Even though I wanted to talk about it's okay to not be okay, I also want to make sure that you get the message loud and clear that your mental health in the process of whatever you're dealing with is important. I also wanted to get to what I've been doing to try to help myself be patient with the fact that I can't wear a prosthetic yet and that progress is going a lot slower than I want it to with trying to wear the shrinker socks. I mean, like, I've still had a lot of pain. The phantom pain has been kind of an awful experience for me, honestly. I wanted to talk about real quick some of the things that I've been doing for self-care and also to try and help myself be patient with the fact that my progression is going to happen when my progression happens. It's not going to happen on like a normal timetable and that is okay because everyone has their own journey through amputation. And you know, even if you're not an amputee, I, I, I hope that the people that are not amputees look at this channel and can be somehow uplifted by the things I have to share. And that's why I'm doing it. In today's video description, I am going to link you guys the link to my Discord chat. You can message me there, especially if you're an amputee and you are going through a dark time. Reach out to me. I will love you, I will understand you, and we can share some frustration together. It'll be great. You can also try and send me a message on Instagram. I don't reply to all of them, so just know that like I don't have time to reply to everyone. But if you start your message with like, hey, I'm a fellow amputee, or hey, I have depression, and then your message, I'll pay attention to it. And I will try to respond to you as fast as I can because I do have a very special place in my heart for trying to help people that have to go through something as unfair as I did. Because that matters. It matters a lot more than the likes and then the number of people watching. Knowing that I can have an impact on someone else today and be the reason that someone gets up tomorrow. That is why I'm a YouTuber. I'm ready to explode like a phoenix, like a phoenix, like a phoenix, like a phoenix.